So as you can see, I'm on PowerPoint. Let's just. So today I'm actually going to talk about liquidity. Um, I thought again I should use the PowerPoints because there are a couple of screenshots that I took um in the last two months, which are going to help me show you and are going to help me explain to you what I think and what I see liquidity is. And I want to actually show you true liquidity, how it's engineered in a market. It's true for all markets. It doesn't matter what asset you're trading. This happens every single time. I would probably argue it happens every single day, but bigger liquidity pools are much better to see on bigger time frames than the small ones. But the whole concepts will, will be the same and it will be true on any single time frame. But yeah, let me just get to explaining liquidity so basically liquidity right it's just um it's it's orders in the market if, if i can put it very simply it, it's where orders are lying in the market but what i'm basically going to show you right is that let's just do this okay so i'm going to use a bullish market for this example um the same thing could be said for a bearish market so let's just say a market is going up and down there's numerous protected lows, meaning that these lows, they've not been tapped in by price. So it just moves away. It doesn't come back to these lows. So this is a bullish market. You can obviously, it's going up. It's trending in an upwards direction. And then there's a interruption of some sort of nature. And this happens, right? So a lot of traders would obviously look at this and they would say to themselves okay now it's broken this you know point over here so then now this whole sentiment has changed and now what happens is that you are in a situation where people will start to look for selling this market because now there's this big interruption that happened here that has now forced traders to have a sentiment of believing that now it's time to you know reverse and now it's time to look for shorts and what happens is that you have a market where it will go down and it could go even lower than this in this example and when price starts to go up so it starts to go up let me use the red one sorry but when it actually starts to go up i'm just going to draw over it but when it goes up again the whole sentiment now is to look for shorts or to start selling. You'll start seeing people selling in this area over here. Oh my God. What am I doing now? So you'll start seeing people, they selling in this area. Yeah, no, this is live guys. I mean, if I make mistakes, there's no neat presentation whatsoever. Like, hey, this is Don's Love's FX, man. This is, I'm here to show you trading. I'm not here to give you a nice YouTube channel you know, hey guys, like and subscribe to my channel. I've got a mic, I've got a nice studio and all that stuff. No, I don't really care about that. I'm, I'm just purely here just to explain my ideas, okay? So yeah, this is a, a PowerPoint presentation. As you can see, yeah, I have other slides there. So where was I right now? So people are looking to sell in this area over here. People are looking to sell in this area over here because that was the last high before this big down move. And what happens, right, is that you have a situation where every single person, the signal providers that pop out of nowhere, your mother, your father, your your auntie, your cousin, your sister, your brother, your dog, your cat, everyone. I always use that example. Everyone is looking to short. And what happens is that you'll have a situation where a cloud of liquidity starts to be engineered again this is not my terminology it's metafix shout out to metafix but what happens is that you have a cloud of liquidity that's starting to be engineered because everyone is seeing this as some sort of potential to go short now now that the market is broken down and you need to understand that just because a market break down or breaks down it doesn't mean now it's time to go short and that's what happens it happens every single time it's the same thing that could happen on in, in, in a bearish market where it would be trending. This is yellow. I need to go back to red. Sorry. It could be trending down. This is not as neat as the bullish one. And it could disturb that whole trend. 
and now people think that it's time to be biased in this situation obviously you need to establish a context you need to establish a bias before you know whether if that market is in a bullish context or if it's in a bearish context but this is what happens right this is in the bearish context right so then people would actually start to expect that this swing over here would be opportunities to now buy and again what is happening is that you are creating a cloud of liquidity you are engineering liquidity and what actually happens let me draw the cloud of liquidity over here what actually happens is that you will see that price will just smack the shit out of that cloud of liquidity it it would literally just be so powerful that it would literally just go up and it wouldn't even have a trace of going down it would literally just go down and it won't even have a trace of going up in this scenario this is a bullish one and this is the bearish scenario this happens every single time and this is exactly why you have stats where people or 74 to 90 percent of traders are losing money in markets because they don't understand that simple concept you know so let me let me get straight into it right so these are some screenshots i took on um the 13th of october as you can see the date is down there these are some of the screenshots that i had taken and what you see in front of you are signal providers on telegram there are a lot of them i like following signal providers because you can actually see how they analyze the market you can actually see where they place their trades within a certain market and within a certain asset obviously they're trading gold um you can see that that's why they you know interpret markets and one thing that i do is that i tend to do the opposite of what they are doing however some of them are, are quite good but i don't really follow them that much but it's just very nice to see what signals they give especially on days where a context is established um and when price is in a mode where it literally just is going in one direction and what happens most of the time is that they give signals that are you know that that go against that movement so let's just get out this powerpoint and let me just actually go to the price because this is actually when it happened so i'm on gold and this was around you know thursday the 12th of October around here is Friday. So this is around Friday around here, right? So this is that same area that you're seeing over here, right? This 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 same thing that you're seeing over here is exactly what you're seeing over there. This this picture right here where he said sell now in yellow zone, okay? And he has a laughing emoji over there. And can I just point out something by the way? I think this is very disingenuous. If you actually look carefully, I'll tell you guys what it is because you probably can't see. But if you look carefully, all of these orders over here, he has a he has multiple orders that are placed in the market that are live. And all of them are buy orders. And he's telling you to sell when he's got loads of buy orders in this area. I think that's highly disingenuous. And that's what these signal providers do. They tell people to sell when they're supposed to buy. And they tell people to buy when they're supposed to sell highly disingenuous but anyway same thing over here this is a different signal provider it's the same area over here where the price dropped and now it's going up again and this was the thursday because there was red news that made the price drop i actually remember because i was trading on the friday and it reversed to the market for that time period on that thursday afternoon so what happens is that as you could see they are looking to sell and if you look at the left to right price, you can see that the last area over here, you can see that these highs are relatively equal, relatively equal. So it's creating a sentiment that now this is a, a resistance level in retail terminology. And what happens is that this right here feeds into that sentiment even more because now it went into this area and it dropped rapidly. Not only that it was, you know, it dropped from news, but it, it, it feeds into that whole sentiment that now it's time to sell. And what happens again is that you'll find people, this is how people, 
there's there's three ways that I'll I'll describe it. You'll find people that would layer, you know, they would layer and layer and layer orders, put a bunch of orders. The second part is that you'll find people that would enter the trade, but they would put a stop loss, you know. So these are I would probably describe these people, you know, to be a little bit smarter even though they don't exactly know what the context is, but they are smart in the sense that, look, listen, they're putting stop losses. So, but these stop losses are still positions. You know, they are still, it still counts as liquidity. You know, these people right here don't have stop losses, but these ones do. The third person is someone who's never traded in their lives, someone who doesn't actually understand how trends work. Some people, some someone who doesn't understand how markets work, you know, these are the people that just follow the signals and they have absolutely no idea what they're doing. They just sell in an area, you know. So what happens is that you have a mixture of people, billions and billions and billions of dollars, trillions of dollars, millions of people that are doing this. You know, like I said, your father, your mother, your cat, your dog, your brother, your sister, your cousin, everyone, every single person is doing this. And what happens is that you are engineering a big cloud of liquidity. And what happened to the price that day? Well, I'll tell you. In fact, I don't even have to tell you. I'll just show you. Instead of actually respecting it, it just literally, let me switch this thing off. Sorry, guys. Instead of respecting this area where people are looking to sell, it literally smacked. Oh, this thing is on off. Let me turn it off, man. Instead of actually respecting this area over here, it literally smacked the shit out of all these people over here. Look at this. Absolutely just... And that's exactly what happens when you have a situation where liquidity is being engineered in the markets. That's what happens. So now, let me go back to the PowerPoint. So now, not only are they giving sell signals, they all their analysis has just gone down the gutter you know everyone sell at gold 1899 1903 1895 97 their stop loss was 91 so they all they were all looking to sell within this area over here on that day on the friday the 13th all of us you know 1899 in fact this was probably even above that, they were probably looking to sell over here. But earlier on, they were looking to sell here and they got absolutely liquidated. They got smacked the shit out of this market. They literally got destroyed because of that cloud of liquidity that was engineered. Because every single person was made to believe that it was time to sell when the context was not in a market where it is going short and that's how trends sustain themselves and that's why a trend would continue it's because people still believe in the mentality of buy low sell high and what ultimately what happens is that markets don't move like that they don't move in that nature and that's why people get liquidated so let's just go back to the powerpoint right now so you can see they gave sell signals and it might not have been for that exact area that i showed you but it's on this day it was on Friday the 13th or the 13th of October, you know. It absolutely, you know, gold gave us 20 pips from our layer. Yeah, they were in profits, but then ultimately you saw what I, I showed you earlier on. They absolutely got destroyed by the price, you know. And it doesn't mean that they lost money. It probably just meant that they had they probably had stop losses. But listen, this guy's got about 170,000 subscribers. Out of those subscribers, what do you? How many people do you think, you know, are actually trading with stop losses? I'm telling you right now, eighty percent of them probably at least didn't have a stop loss. They they probably lost money. They all got liquidated. They 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 life savings. They 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 little fifty dollar account. They 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 thought they were gonna flip it to a a a, a hundred dollar account. They all lost money that day. They all did. So over here is only 474 subscribers but still like this is how many people are now made to believe that it's time to go short and now you can actually see what i'm talking about when that whole liquidity is being engineered because every single person was looking to sell in that area 
and look what happened to that price it got smacked the shit out of like i showed you earlier let me show you again because you guys are not listening look at this not even one movement where the price went down yes there was this one candle over here but it absolutely ran everyone out of the market especially gold So let's just go to the next slide. And again, this is this is what I wanted to show you. Like you could see they were looking to sell over there. Price just literally ran through it. Just absolutely ran through all these people. They got liquidated, all of them. Went all the way to 98. And again, guess what happens? In fact, this is a different one now. This is actually on the 31st of October. So that was actually Friday the 13th. This is now uh, the 31st of October. So, again, this guy, he probably has more subscribers now from that time. He gave a sell signal on UJ, or on EJ, sorry, so the Euro Japanese yen. He gave a sell signal at this area. Um, and let's go to that chart right now. So, on that day, it was literally around October the 31st or what is it? it was yeah it was somewhere around october the 31st it was at the end of the at, at, at the end of october because i remember i looked at that signal i took a screenshot of it and you could sort of see why you know he was looking to sell he actually said sell around the 1959 to 1960 area so this is probably the area that they were looking at they were looking at this area right here you know they were looking at this area to sell because look at how it just went down there's relatively and also if you look at this price over here it came back to that point over there it reversed and it came back there this was on the 30th of august this is on the 23rd of october it came in that area and it absolutely reversed and if you go and let's just see what happened now so again he like i said he marked that area where you should sell and look what happened to the price absolutely got liquidated they got destroyed by price and it absolutely continued it didn't even go down it, it, it continued all the way all the way jesus this thing actually went far like can you actually start to see what i'm talking about when i say to you guys you are engineering a big cloud of liquidity can you actually see what i'm talking about when i say this is exactly what is happening where people are getting involved on the wrong side of the market you are creating a sentiment where orders are being placed into areas where they shouldn't be placed into and ultimately the market just runs through it it, it, it doesn't even and the run through is much more powerful than the initial one so this one is a little bit more choppy the second time when there's when there's a cloud that's been developed it literally destroys it this was this is euro japanese yen and i showed you the exact same thing on gold right now can you see what i'm talking about and if you can't then it's okay so let's just go forward and on that day this is actually i'll probably explain this on another video but on that day you could see that the institutional sentiment was to go long so obviously you don't have to be a trader to know that green means it's going up and red means it's going down literally 84 90 percent 100 percent us the us dollar the japanese yen instrument was 100 percent bullish that day so it was literally going up the same instrument that we just looked at right now the euro japanese yen was 89 percent bullish and even the daily was bullish so this was on the day and this is on a longer time frame. So the daily is a longer time frame and the, and into the intraday was sp on that specific day. And if you look at my FX book, it's the opposite. They are all going short. The community trend, they are all short on these pairs when they should be going long. And this is how this cloud of liquidity is generated because everyone is looking to sell or short in areas where they're not supposed to be shorting and you might ask me well dons are you a buyer well i'm a trend follower by the way and i just understand context and i just understand that over the last three years 
there's been a lot of things happening in the world that's making markets go up and up and up and up. So it's better to follow the trend rather than to actually, you know, have a sentiment of now price is way too high. So let's let's sell. And that whole mentality, that notion right there, that is what creates that cloud of liquidity to get ran. Let's go further on. So this was yesterday. I actually showed these screenshots in my other um, video. Um, I think it's called The Execution. I made it yesterday. So go check it out there. Again, it's just another example again. So I entered a buy um, and you could see this, the same thing happening again. What am I seeing? I am seeing that this there's, there's a long, long down movement that happened here. And this is going to entice people to sell or to look for sell opportunities. People are probably looking to sell in this imbalance right here. Again, you don't have to know imbalances. People are probably... If, if you actually see there's 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 a swing high over there there's multiple times if you can see these three triangles over here these three red triangles those are fractals those indicate swing highs and swing lows and all three of them are in relatively the same location and that is showing to people that it's time to go short and again what did i say it's doing you are creating a cloud of liquidity you are creating a bias where people are going to sell people like i said earlier people are layering in this area they are probably putting sell positions in this area the second person or the second groups of people are selling but they are smarter they have stop losses so they are they are well aware about risks, so they are on the good side, even though they, they are wrong about the price, but they are putting stop losses. So if this if the market swings out and it hits their stop loss, they won't lose their whole capital. But the third person, like I mentioned, is someone who's never traded in their lives. They don't know what's going on. They're just following the signal groups and they literally just layering their positions as well. They're just seeing this big move down and they think it's time to sell. And I'll probably say number one and number three are probably the dumbest people. Number two is not so dumb because at least they have a stop loss. But all number one, number two, number three, this constitutes to this whole cloud of liquidity. All of it. This whole money pool. And absolutely, guess what happened? They all gave sell signals in that area. Look. 1991, 1995, 1991, 1994, 1992, 1993. All these sell signal providers, they all gave sell signals on gold. Let's go. Sell, sell, sell. You know, you saw in that area. They are selling in this area right here. They're looking to sell. And guess what happened? You wouldn't believe what happened, guys. Guess what happened? I don't even have to tell you what happened. You already know what happened. You know what happened. Guess what happened? Got liquidated. <laughs> Got absolutely destroyed, you know. Where were they stop losses? Yeah, they probably had stop losses. But again, there is 39,000 people following this guy. There's 188,000 people following this person. There's 43,000 people following these people. Uh, this the signal provider. So imagine thousands and a hundred, hundreds and thousands, millions of people. And this is just three signal providers there's millions and billions of people on this planet that are probably selling in areas where they're not supposed to be selling on that instrument and they all got destroyed by that upwards movement because the stop loss was 1997 it, over here it was 1998 over there it was 1997 and look where the price went to it went to 1998 and look at the movement look at how powerful it is like it it there's no it's, it's not even in a wave, it's not even in a wavy nature where you could say, okay, it's doing this. It literally just does this one time. And that is when you know that a cloud of liquidity has been generated by this movement right there. Same thing again. They were probably looking to sell in this area over here. Same thing happened on that day. And what happened? They gave the sell signal. 
they gave the cell signal. Again, sell, 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 sell. All of them, they're selling. They're all selling. And what happens? You are engineering a big cloud of liquidity. And I'm not saying them specifically, but I'm just saying people like that. And most people think very, you know, similarly. Like, people think the same. And most people are sheeps. That's why you have stats that say 74 to 90% of traders lose money. Because 74 to 90% of traders think the same way. So, just because about one guy and 39,000 people and 43,000 people and 109,000 people are all thinking the same way, you know, it doesn't mean... I I already know that other people are thinking the same way. That's just how it is. Like, they they all think like this, guys. Like, And what happens is they get destroyed. They get absolutely destroyed by that price. It went to 2005. And look where their stop loss was. 2005. 2004. 2004. They all got stopped out. And ultimately, they all had a bad day and yes they are seven figure traders they are successful but this is the main thing that people do not understand is that when you are in a context where it is delivering you need to abide by that context and again i'll show you about that in another video but this was just to show you about liquidity and how it's being engineered and this is exactly why I like following signal groups because you can actually see it happening in real time. You can see how people trade. You can see where people put their positions. You can see where people, you know, how people are thinking. This is exactly how people think. They think like this. And the same thing happened um, during the COVID market time back in 2020. People made a lot of money in that market because the context was bullish. Obviously, that's what happens when there's terrible things happening in the world. Like everything just went up. And then what happened is that people lost all that money because they do not understand when to stay out of a market. They do not understand that when, you know, they, they, they can become a, that, that, that cloud of liquidity that's going to be run. They don't understand that there are certain times where you're supposed to get involved and there are certain times where you're not supposed to get involved. And this is exactly how trends sustain themselves. This is exactly why people lose money this is exactly why hedge funds go broke this is exactly why local banks go broke as well this is why people lose everything it just gets blown to schmidarines guys because people don't understand that markets do not move in a nature where if it breaks down it's now time to sell or if it breaks up it's now time to buy you need to establish a context and if that context is met, then execute the trades. Anyway, I hopefully I've gone through everything and hopefully this makes sense. You know, let's discard everything. But that's actually what I wanted to show you. It was just that whole pool of liquidity. So hopefully this makes sense. Um, yeah.